I'm going to share with you something that's quite unique. I will show you this picture first, which is a picture of a something similar to a monstrance that you might have the host in in Catholic services. But the difference is this section up here has material that has been scientifically proven to be flesh. And down below you have what is dried, coagulated droplets of blood. I believe there are five of them. This is a close-up of the top one, with the flesh. And I will read something to you about that, and this other one is the blood. It's a Eucharistic miracle of Lanciano, Italy. In the 18th century, 8th century, a priest, after pronouncing the words of the consecration, had a strong temptation to doubt the real presence of Jesus. Before the startled priest's eyes, the sacred host visibly changed into a circle of flesh. The consecrated wine was transformed into a bright red, coagulating into five small clots, different in form and size. Four authentications have been performed throughout the century, but the last verification ordered by the Holy See in Rome in 1970 is the most scientifically complete. Microscopic studies document that the flesh is real human flesh and the blood is real human blood. The flesh is composed of cardiac muscular tissue, reference to the heart, having no trace whatsoever of any materials or agents used for preservation of the flesh. Both the flesh and blood belong to the same blood type, AB. The proteins in the blood are in the same proportions as those found in normal fresh blood. The ongoing miracle is visible even in this day, after more than 1,200 years of existence. The host flesh appears to be rose-colored when backlighted. The color of the five clots of coagulated blood is a brownish-red hue tending toward yellow. My flesh and my blood, and men I say to you, except you eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you shall not have life in you. He eats my flesh and drinks my blood, has everlasting life, and I will raise him up on that last day. John 6, 5, 3, 54. Now once again, in the top is where they have a tissue, like heart tissue. And in the bottom gloss is where they have the five coagulated drops of blood. Now, I go to uh, Catholic Church and the, what some people may call eight o'clockers. You go to eight o'clock Mass every day and a certain number of us will gather to say the rosary. And on Friday we have adorations of the Blessed Sacrament, which within a monstrance that looks something like that. And they, um, they'll have a host there. Um, when I came across this fly, or whatever you want to call it, there were perhaps a hundred of them in the box. I gave them out to different people to go on to church and left them in areas where they could find them. Ken, I love the fact when you have science back up miracles or what have you, that they're with evidence. And when scientists set out to prove the existence of God, not disprove it. Now... When I uh, go to uh, the Mass and Rosary, and, and uh, I'm going to just move a minute. And, uh, I thought it was better that the... Uh, this is one of my paintings of uh, the Shroud of Turin. And uh, I used it as a study to do a live price which I gave to a black priest in, or a church in Africa. And kind of just felt like doing it. The people who tried to buy it off me when I had it in my gallery and I wouldn't sell it to them. And I just gave it to the gentleman. And the uh, what was unique, it ended up in a church in Nigeria called St. Patrick's. And I went to St. Patrick's Grammar School and, and the um, was an altar boy there, and 
what have you. So it seemed apropos that the painting of uh, Christ that I did, which I called the Prince of Peace or Man in Black, kind of like Johnny Cash, and the uh, um, I just spontaneously gave it to these people who came into my gallery. I played guitar when I had my gallery and loved to share what I write and so forth. And and they were, um, I was playing my favorite song, The Evergreen Tree, for one young couple and three other people. Let me see, one, two, one, two, three, four. maybe there were four. Came in and they were in the back and they listened to me to sing. And I told them, don't go away yet. I'll give you, I give out free CDs. And I said, I'll give you free CDs too. And they told me that I sang for them in my gallery 30 years ago when they were here on their honeymoon. And they uh, probably just opened the gallery then, had it for 37 years. And the um, one lady was a Buddhist, and they had a black priest and a couple. And they were all related. I mean, their reference to the lady who was a Buddhist was related to the lady who the gentleman married. I told her to uh, rub my belly for luck. And we were just having a, kind of a very laid back, relaxed, enjoyable time. And I just felt like I should give him the painting of called Prince of Peace again. They were